One of my favorite scriptures is Psalms chapter 126. And it's such a wonderful scripture because it talks about how God will restore and renew the children of Israel and how he would restore their fortunes. And it speaks of the streams of Negev. And, and it talks about uh, how God will bless and renew and restore his children. But there's one passage in there in the very end of Psalms chapter 126 that says this. It says, those who sow in tears will surely come again rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. And you know, we, we go through suffering, we go through times of difficulty and trial, but, but God promises us. He, he promises to, to give us a, a restoration. And when we sow in tears and we cry out to Him and we say, God, we need you, we want you, and, and we're hungry and we're thirsty for you, then God will do great and mighty things. God will restore things that we, we never knew could be restored. Relationships can be restored. People can be restored to Christ. And we will see God do a, a great and mighty work. So what we really need in these days is our hungry hearts, people who are hungry and thirsty for the righteousness of God. Jesus said this, Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And He will fill us when our hearts are hungry and thirsty for Him. So what does it mean to hunger and to thirst for God? Jesus said that when you're hungry and thirsty, you shall be filled. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, a hunger, a thirst, is part of the deepest drives of mankind because it's a drive for life. Uh, you can't live without food. You can't live without water. You need those things. And so when you're hungry and you're thirsty, oh, you need life. You're saying, I need that which gives me life. And so our hunger, our thirst must be for God. And when we are hungry for Him, when we are thirsty for Him, He will fill us with Himself. His presence will come. This is one of the things that I've seen overseas. You know, as I travel around the world, I find people who are hungry and thirsty and they're crying to God. They're, they're, they're shedding tears. They're, they're calling out to God. But I find that uh, so many times in the Western world, among Western Christians, we're, we're, we're comfortable. We're not quite that that thirsty, quite that hungry. And so God has to allow things into our lives that will make us hungry and thirsty for Him. And I tell you, when, when that hunger comes, instead of blaming people for what's happening, instead of being discouraged about circumstances, just realize that God has brought things into your life to make you hunger for Him, to thirst for Him, and you cry out to Him and God will do great and mighty things. Oh, I tell you what, you may sow in tears, but you will come again rejoicing and bringing the sheaves with you. Others will come with you as you cry unto God. So you hunger and thirst for Him today. You cry unto Him and watch what He will do.